Hi, everybody. Ms. Lee here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go over uh, question number four from Unit 8 Progress Check uh, Part B. Okay, so we're going over number four, and the question is in front of us right now. So it says, let R be the region in the first quadrant bounded by the graph of y equals 2 tangent of x over 5 and the line y equals 5 minus x and the y-axis. What is the volume of the solid generated when R is revolved around the line y equals 6? So to start with, in general, what I want you all to always notice first thing is whenever they say first quadrant. So sometimes I miss that phrase and I like forget and I'm like, oh, like where where is it talking about? First quadrant means where X and Y are both positive. And so that kind of like narrows it down a little. And then it says uh, bounded by the graph of Y equals two tangent of X over five. And so when you see tangent, or any trig function for that matter, what I want you to realize is that you need to make sure your fun or your calculator is in radian mode. Your calculator is in radian mode. If your calculator is not in radian mode, you're not going to get the right answer. So in general, check before you take the test, make sure you're in radian mode, uh, and then uh, go through with the problem. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and revolve whatever area is bounded by those two graphs in the first quadrant um, around uh, the line y equals 6. Uh, so I went ahead and I typed these into my calculator, and I'm going to go ahead and graph this, these two. And so that's y equals tangent of x over 5, or 2 tangent of x over 5. Uh, and it said that line, 5 minus x, or y equals 5 minus x, uh, the y-axis in the first quadrant. So that would be this little area here. It kind of looks like a little triangle there. What we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to revolve that around the y equals 6 line. Okay, so this little area is what we're dealing with right now because we said in the first quadrant, bounded by the y-axis, tan the tangent graph 2 tangent of x over 5, and then the y equals x minus 5. So let's go ahead and also graph uh, y equals 6, so we can kind of see where that is. So we're revolving around that line there. So what you'll see right now is that the area we are revolving is not touching the line that we're revolving around. So does that mean washer or disk? Well, uh, since it's not touching, that means it's going to be a washer. And we're revolving around a horizontal line. We're revolving around a horizontal line. So that means it's going to be dx. So we do dx. And then the integral. And then it's going to be pi, sorry, pi times the integral of, and then some function squared minus, and then some other function squared. So uh, that will be the outer radius, and that will be the inner radius. Okay. And then the bounds are going to be, uh, so the left bound is the y-axis, so that's zero, and then going up to whatever that bound right there is. So we're gonna wanna find that intersection point. So to do that, we're going to do, uh, let's write the zero first before we forget. And then let's go ahead and uh, press second calc. And then we go down to intersect. So intersect for intersection point. And so we will scroll over there and say first curve, say second curve, and then we'll get a little closer and we'll do our guess. So the intersection point there is 3.3895, so 3.389. So what we're going to do is quit to the main screen and I want you to press X. And then you see that that number is there, store that into some letter. We're going to store it into B because it's the top bound. So usually top bound is B. So store it into B so we can deal with it later. Okay, let's look back at the graph. Now uh, we want to do the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. So which of these curves, which of these curves is further away from this line that we're revolving around? Well, that would be this curve right here. So the two tangent of x over five curve. And so we're going to want to put that here, but we want to find the distance between y equals six and that tangent curve. So to find the difference between those, you just do top minus bottom. 
So we do six minus, and then I wrote a little bit too small here, but two tangent of x over five. And then over here, same thing. We'll want to find uh, the distance between the line that you're revolving around and then the inner radius, which is this line right here. So we do this line minus this line. And so that would be six minus, and then we'll put this in parentheses because there's two terms there. Uh, so six minus and then five minus x in parentheses. Okay. So we've set out, up our uh, integral. And so we'll just go ahead and plug that into our calculator. So we do math nine. Well, before we do math nine, let's type pi. So pi and then times math nine, which is fn int, which is the integral. Uh, and then from zero up to, and then you don't want to type in this rounded answer. You want to type in where we started before. So b, we're going to do zero to b of, and then in parentheses, six minus, and then, well, let's go see where uh, this function was typed in. So this was typed into y1, and then this function was typed into y2. So we'll go ahead and keep that in mind there. So we do six minus and then y1. So we go to, let's actually put that in parentheses, by the way, because we want to square it eventually. So parentheses, six minus, and then y1. So we go to vars, which is for variables, because y is a variable. Uh, and then we go right one to y vars. And then we go to y1. Close parentheses, squared, minus, and then Again, in parentheses, six minus, and then this is going to be y2. So to get to y2, again, we go to variables because y is a variable. So we go to variables, y variables, and then we go to y2. So six minus y2, and then close parentheses, squared, dx. So our answer is going to be 209.617. So let's go see what answer choice that is. So oh, that's going to be D. And so our answer is D. Okay, let me know via email or chat uh, whether or not, or, or come to office hours if you have any questions. Happy day.